This is Minecraft, but you can trade anything. Today, we'll be able to trade anything in Minecraft with everything in Minecraft. Oh, that's a scam. From trading with any mob, to trading with any block, to trading with even structures? My goal is to unlock trades with the dragon itself, but I won't just be using emeralds today, because sometimes even my XP, arms, or even hearts will be currency. So, how can I trade my XP? And what does this guy trade me? Stay tuned to find out. So, this is a villager, and when we right-click a villager, we can trade with them. And this right here is a grass block, and with this item called the Tradenator, if we right-click, we can trade anything where we're going to be trading seeds for a edible grass, okay? And super bone meal. We're not done there yet either because this is a pig right here and with the pig, we can go ahead and right-click the pig. Let's go, Mr. Pig. And now we can trade not emeralds, but carrots for all this stuff right here. And we're still not done there yet, guys, because we also have a wooden pickaxe. And even with the wooden pickaxe, we can go ahead and right-click it and we can even get trades from a wooden pickaxe. In today's challenge, we're going to be trading anything with literally everything in Minecraft. And I'm not even kidding, guys. Even with this entire village house, with the Tradenator, when I right-click, we can literally trade with a villager house, guys. We can even buy a villager. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> it's too early in the video for this. Okay, so with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get some seeds. And fair warning right now, the trades are going to be getting pretty crazy. For example, super bone meal can be used on saplings, and I should probably get some wood and some saplings. Okay, give me one sec, guys, and let's get some wood. Okay, what if I use a super bone meal on the carrots? Oh, it's only a super bone meal. Oh, look at it go. Well, let's go ahead and grab all those carrots. Thank you very much. And I also ended up getting one sapling where what happens with super bone meal in a tree? Oh, holy tree. I'm a very very big fan of the super bow meal and actually let's real quick get the pickaxe down and trade with it again and i do need a stone pickaxe so oh wait what that's not a normal pickaxe this is an unsafe pickaxe which don't really think i should use it all right now i want to use it even more guys what does the unsafe pickaxe do oh i mean it's normal isn't it yeah it looks like a pretty normal pickaxe oh wait what uh oh your arm um guys i, I think i got my arm with the pickaxe the pickaxe is gone wait what guys i grew my arm back so i now have unlimited arms and i'm carrying my own arm what is going on, guys? Okay, let's figure that out later. And in the meantime, let's trade with some grass again and get a good old edible grass. Because, you know, you know who doesn't love eating grass? All right, what does edible grass do? Oh, you've learned how to do a flower ring. Use it with P. Oh, wait, so I got an ability? Oh, good old flower ring right around us, and it pretty much just makes a bunch of flowers. Nice. Oh, we get strength and healing root from that. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do some more trades. Let me get to that pig again. All right, Mr. Pig, what do we got here? Okay, so we can get bacon. Why not? Let's get some bacon. A saddle which uh, maybe we can trade a saddle. Oh, wait, and a carrot on a stick. What if we ride a pig and eat bacon on it? Uh, that, that's probably really wrong, but it's all good. And of course, a pig whistle. Guys, this might be morally wrong, but we're gonna do it. Saddle, get my carrot on a stick. And uh, guys, I'm riding a pig and eating bacon. There's definitely something wrong with this. Oh, no, 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 I don't wanna kill him. Okay, we're good. What exactly did we spawn? What the heck was that? I am so confused, but let's go ahead and trade with the villager house where we ended up getting some oak planks where we can get bookshelf, white bed, crafting table. Yeah, we don't really need any of that. We actually need the villager. I wanna get the villager. There we go. Okay, now we can afford the villager with a good old her. So, uh, can I trade villagers? Oh, guys, I can now spawn villagers with the villager. Oh, I have an unlimited army. Oh, wait, does he give me bread? Oh, he gives me bread. Oh, that's sick. Okay, very nice. I now have a villager throwing me bread. And because we can trade with anything, I'm gonna guess I can maybe trade a villager, literally my arm. And let me double check if I've gotten everything I need. Oh, wait, one raw iron for an anvil and the efficiency five book. Let's go ahead and get that efficiency five book. And it probably won't hurt to get an anvil. Let's get one iron ore real quick. Now we're gonna throw down the wooden pickaxe and let's Let's get a simple anvil by trading with the wooden pickaxe. You've done enough trades. You've received a Tradenator upgrade. Okay, and now we're going to get even better trades by upgrading it. So I'm going to guess as we do more trades, we can unlock better trades. Okay. Oh, and there we go. Okay, trades unlocked. And we can literally now trade with desert temples, iron golems, and even cows. All right, let's go up. Wait, so can I straight up trade with you? Oh, I can. Yo, okay. And I was right, guys. The iron golem takes my arm and gives us an iron golem sword, which is his arm. Okay, well, I'm giving you my arm. Uh, the blade of a protector. The heck is this thing? Oh, I just right-clicked that. Oh, that's sick. Okay, and I also got to trade my heart, but how do I grab my heart? Maybe let's try trading with a cow. Okay, so can I just trade with you? Oh, we can. And so for a cow, we can go ahead and get some wheat and get cow milk, 
Coke, Moo Moo Magma Charge, and a Lactose Launcher. What the heck? Okay, let me go get some wheat, and also let's try to find a temple, and maybe that gives me the heart. Okay, so we finally found a temple, and like it said earlier, can I straight up trade with this thing? Oh, and we can! Okay, so now we're trading with a desert temple, a big boy. Oh, and I can trade my heart here too. Okay, but how do I get the heart? I'm so confused, guys. Well, we can get all this stuff right here. We can get the treasure room, and get some sandstone, and get a sandstone armor kit? Let's get some sand real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Real quick. Let's go back to trading, and wait, so let me get the sandstone armor kit, and also the treasure room itself. So, do I just place this thing? Oh, gosh. Where's it gonna place? Oh! It came in like a care package. That's sick. Okay, so we have our own little treasure room, and oh my goodness. What if we can trade with an enchanted golden apple? Or what am I gonna get if I trade an enchanted golden apple? I'm gonna save that. A power two book, of course, some iron, and my goodness, the amount of notch apples. And we can't forget, of course, of the good old subscribe button, guys. Go to click that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Anyways, let's go to put that right there, and pretty much, guys, it's all the loot we'll ever need. I'm saving all this, though, because it's potential stuff that we can trade with, and now what about the sandstone armor kit? Oh! We got sandstone armor! Oh, that's sick! Okay, let's go ahead and put all that on. Okay, so we found another iron golem, and I can't really seem to find what we- how do we get the hearts? Maybe it's the iron golem job or the iron golem house. I guess why not? Let's go ahead and grab those two. Okay, so iron golem house, what does this do exactly? Oh my! Yo! Okay! Um, it's a giant house! And what about the iron golem job? What does this do? Complete the task for a reward. Oh, iron golems love cake. Bring it a cake, and it'll show you how to trade hearts. Oh. Okay, that makes sense now. Now we have a mission. We gotta get some cake, and then we can trade again with the iron golem and get all the good stuff. Is there any cake in here? Cake? Nope. Um, I am gonna steal some iron blocks, because we do love our iron here on the store channel. But with that being said, let's go figure out how to make a cake again. Okay, we finally got the cake, and Mr. Golem, here you go, take the cake. Oh, cakes are wonderful. Oh, and he gave me a book. Guide to heart mastery. Uh, well, what is this exactly? Oh, I've learned how to use the heart ability. Use it with I. I? Oh, oh, so for every heart I want to use, guys, I can now take away my own heart and get a heart of myself. And now with the heart, can I just trade it with you? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I can put one heart for one baby iron golem spawn egg. And now with the baby iron golem spawn egg. Do we get a baby iron golem? Wait, we got a sheep too. Huh? Wait, why is this the baby iron golem spawn egg? And that's the baby iron golem. What? Anyways, now let's go ahead and trade the heart with the temple. And then I guess that'll be all the trades we gotta do until we get to the next tier. All right, Mr. Golem, let's go ahead and trade one more time. And now with the desert temple, we can go ahead and trade one heart for a pharaoh spawn egg. Let me get some sand real quick so I can get a staff and then we'll spawn him in. All right, trade with the temple. Let's get this desert king staff. And so do I just spawn this in? Okay, yep. Who dares awake me? Wait, is he at the very top? How's it going, pharaoh? Are you friendly? Are friendly oh he's not friendly oh, okay our gold sword do your thing and oh no 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 our gold survive okay what does the staff do then oh wait i'm summoning a bunch of sand what the heck can i throw it oh wait what okay so i can summon a bunch of sand and then when i left click it shoots it okay that's actually really sick what the heck well down goes the pharaoh and he gave us some nice golden apples which we can maybe trade with very soon and do we have anything else straight i think we should be good there oh there we go okay you've done enough trades you've received a trade upgrade which let's go ahead and right click that there we go and now let's get our brand new trades where we can trade anything with pretty much everything. So now we're doing crafting tables, literally water itself, stone swords, and pillagers. Well, let's go ahead and get near an outpost and see what we can do. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally an outpost, but before we get to the pillager, I'm kind of curious about water. How do I trade with water? I guess literally just like that. Uh, pushing water breathing, a water squirter, which I think that's the main thing I want to get. Well, I need a crafting table anyways to make some buckets, but can I trade the crafting table? Oh, okay. The uncrafting room. Remote. And then we have a portable crafting table. I like that. And why not? Let's try the crafting table job right now. And our mission with the job is going to be find four mobs and craft. I'm going to guess it's create something for them and you'll get a large reward for completing the task. Oh, craft something for them. Uh, can it be anything? Do I just right click the mob with it? I'm going to guess that's what I got to do. Anyways, though, let's also get a portable crafting table and let's also get the water squirter. Okay, so water squirter, what do you do? Oh, that shoots water. Nice. Okay, so I got to craft something for four mobs. What four things could I make real quick? guys. I guess I could be a little bit bougie. Why not? Let's make a diamond sword, diamond boots, diamond pickaxe, and someone's getting a diamond hoe. These are my four gifts. Hopefully they count. And so can I just go ahead and get up to this guy and throw something? Dude, take the craft. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's a thank you. That is so weird. What the heck? Why is it nodding to me? All right. Who am I giving a diamond sword? One sec. Let's find another mob. Next up, we got a villager. Do I just throw the diamond sword? Oh, he got it again. Okay. So that's going to be number two. Thank you yet again. And it's at four different mobs. So let's go ahead and give someone a diamond pickaxe. Oh, we could do a zombie. Here. 
Dobby, big X. Does that work? Oh, I got it. Yo, three out of four. There we go. It says thank you. And wait, is it mining? Wait, what? Anyways, we have one more to go. Let's find the next mob. And now for our last one, let's get a good old chicken. And you chicken right there. Let me throw you something. Oh, we got it. Yes. Okay. And that's going to be four out of four with all chickens. And it's, it's hoeing. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. We got a message from the craft table now. You did great. Here's your reward. And from it, we get literally the two sacks of crafting tables. Not bad at all. Let's open that up. And now we get the uncrafting remote, which does it like decraft a stone pickaxe? Oh, it does. I, I need that back though. So let's, you know, make an iron pickaxe instead. Iron pickaxe. I want to save the diamonds just in case we trade with those diamonds. Because like I said earlier, we traded with everything today, including what we have ahead, which our last thing we got to do is now trade with the pillager. So what do you have for us? Okay. I dragged them out. Let's go, guys. Let me get rid of you real quick. Okay. This guy's not going to like me real quick. Oh, what? Trade with the pillager? What will be your last joke? Okay, never mind. We can't trade the pillager. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. You know what? We're gonna get rid of this guy quick. Let me get all the sands we can and let's hit him. Oh, my gosh. I did so much to me and him. Get all the sand I can get and yet again, Desert King staff. Let's shoot him straight at him. Down goes the pillager just like that. And so, can I not trade it with pillagers? Oh, well, we got the thing. Oh, and yet again, I've done enough trades for this tier and we've received yet again another Tradenator upgrade. So, before we upgrade this thing, what does the large crossbow do oh that is very big arrows okay i think it might be time we start going caving guys so there's a cave right here let's start going down and yet again let's upgrade the tradinator thing trades unlocked and now we can trade with iron ore furnaces and iron pantalones aka iron leggings okay all right down we go nice cave and right here we have a nice iron ore which what are you gonna trade us oh not a normal bow but an iron bow which is much more durable apparently and an iron ore duplicator wait exponential iron so so how does this work? So I got some help and apparently I put this on my offhand and then I right click it. Oh, we have a magic iron wand. Let's go. Literally unlimited iron. I am clicking for my life right now, guys. Let's get a stack real quick. There we go. All the iron we'll ever need. And now what about the iron bow? It literally shoots out iron. Okay, guys, we literally don't need iron ever again. My goodness, what the heck? And for our next thing, I kind of forgot to trade with this last year, guys, but we can still do it. Obviously, because we can trade with anything, but we can trade with a stone sword. And oh my gosh. Okay. Stone sword gives us either a diamond sword a golden sword, which is a little bit cheaper, a lapis sword, or even a copper electrical powered sword. Okay, so the best one is the diamond sword, but I kind of want to try out the lapis and the copper sword because, you know, that's completely new. So give me one sec. Let's get a bunch of cobblestone. All right, that should be enough. Let's real quick get a lapis sword and a copper sword. And what does this do? Oh, it shoots out like little enchantment things. Oh, that's sick. Okay, now what about the copper sword? Oh, and that shoots lightning. Very nice. And now that we're done with the sword, we're done with the iron. Next thing we're going to be doing is going to be the item we need to cook up all the iron we ended up getting. Let's try trading with literally a furnace. So, uh, Tradinator, what do we get from this thing? A coal eater and an experience extractor. And of course, yet again, another job, which is going to be the furnace job, but I'm very curious about this experience eater. Okay, we got some coal. Now let's go ahead and do some trades where the first one's going to be a coal eater. It's ammo, it's coal. So let's find some coal and use it. There we go. Finally some coal. So, uh, do I just shoot this? Oh, it doesn't eat coal. It just shoots the coal. That makes more sense. Okay, back to the furnace. And now we can also buy an experience extractor. All right, so what does this do exactly? Wait, can I just grab XP for myself? Uh, right click? Oh, oh, yo. Okay, so because we can trade anything, not emeralds, we're gonna just throw away the emeralds for now. We can now also trade XP levels where it's literally one XP. Uh, we can't trade it just yet though, but I guess let's get back to trading. All right, and the final thing we can buy is gonna be one furnace job. Let's go ahead and grab the job and see what we get. Furnaces love coal. Bring the furnace 16 coal to receive a reward. Board. Oh, uh, wait, do I just put the coal in the thing? Okay, let me get some coal real quick. Okay, so the good news is we got some more XP. Let's go and extract it. That's gonna be five XP levels we have now, and we can use that very soon. And now let's go ahead and put 21 coal inside, and do I get a prize for this? Oh, it began with no furnace! Unlimited fuel! And we got a sack of steak. Very nice. Anyways, we're not done there just yet, guys, because we have, yet again, another thing we gotta trade, and it's not a furnace. Now it's literally iron pantalones. That's pants in Spanish, by the way. Let me know if you speak Spanish in the comments down below, and I guess let's go ahead and the trade so now we know what we got to use xp for and that's for all these things right here where with xp we can trade it for iron mining robots or a extra small iron leggings okay i can't afford that but i kind of want to get the mining robot what does this do oh it's a full-on robot look at him go anyways so we definitely don't have enough levels for all the trades right here but one thing i'm wondering also is can we trade with enchanted buck oh yo okay so i can trade with anything i want at certain points it's just that the trades get better and we need carrots for bottles of enchanting okay i literally threw away carrots up there, so let, let me go grab those again. There they are, okay. And now with the Vincency 5 book, which we should probably add to our anvil, let's go ahead and do that soon. Let's go ahead and trade 
one carrot for every bottle of enchanting we'll ever need. There we go. Okay, very nice. And now with experience extractor. Oh, that's sick. Let's go. Okay, so now we have 18 levels. And with the 18 levels, let's get everything else. So we can get iron and actual iron, it says. I don't I don't trust that at all, but we're going to grab it anyways. And also the extra small iron leggings. They look like copper, though. I don't know why they lo look like copper, but it's all good. Okay, extra small iron leggings. Oh, oh. Well, guys, now we have a bit of a size problem. And with that being done, do I use the iron ingot or something? Oh my, what the heck is that ability? Right, what now? Oh, that. So now we've done enough trades for the next tier, which again, let's get the upgrade out, which we might want to go back to normal size. Yep, that might be better. Okay, let's upgrade it again. There we go. And now we got better trades with creepers, gold ore, axolotls. Oh, that should be a fun one. And the wandering trader. How am I supposed to find one of those? Well, I can find some creepers and we actually have gold ore over there. Okay, before anything, let's roll quick get all the levels we can and let's get efficiency five, not on the iron pickaxe, but instead I can go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe and let's get this bad boy added. There we go. Efficiency five diamond pickaxe. I'd love to see it. All right, let's do some more trades. And this time with the gold ore, we can trade for an infinity gauntlet minus his glove. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. And no, I should have gone the gold ore pickaxe, which is faster than a normal gold pickaxe. Oh, and I can get notch apples too. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab one of those, grab one of those. Okay, we should have the gold now. Let's get a gold ore pickaxe, which is better give me instant gold. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is way faster than I thought. Bad thing is it's almost broken already. Well, next thing we got to find is now a creeper and an axolotl. All right, where are they at? Okay, we found a creeper, but how do I trade it with a creeper and not get killed by it? Does it ignore me if I have this thing out? Oh, I think it does. And to trade with a creeper, we're giving flints. We can get a bomb bomb, creeper's feet, okay, and glide to explosive jumping. Oh my gosh, it's actually a lot of cool stuff. And of course, a creeper job. Okay, so what we need to get is a lot of flint. And in the meantime, while we get flint, can we find an axolotl? It took a little bit too long, but finally we got an axolotl. What do you get me? Oh, wait, no, this is water. I'm dumb. <laughs> I gotta maybe get him out of the water. Let me put you right there. Now let's trade with you. Oh, so we gotta give raw cod for axolotl gills, a pet axolotl, an axolotl bow, and an axolotl job. All right, so flint and fish. That's what we're gonna need. I don't really know an easy way of getting fish. So let's go to get the flint, do the trades with the creeper, and then we'll go to the surface and get some fish. Actually, I'm just gonna carry him. There we go. Okay, I forgot we can just get a bucket of axolotl. All right, let's go. Okay, so we only got one raw cod, but we got the flint. All right, Mr. Creeper, you're still here. And now what can we get from you? Let's get some creeper feet, a guide to explosive jumping. Why not? That should be easier to get back to the surface. And I guess I'll take your job. All right. So what the heck does creeper's feet do? Oh, we're a lot faster. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So creeper's feet run faster. Very nice. And now what about the guide to explosive jumping? Oh, I unlocked a new ability now with B. B? Yo! Oh, that's sick. Okay, so I can now go boom. Very nice. And now finally, let's get the creeper job. Creepers love flint and steel. Bring the creeper flint and steel and you'll receive a TNT launcher. I mean, why not? Let's go and get the flint and steel. And now, Mr. Creeper, let's give you the flint and steel. Uh, do I just throw it at him? Oh, he got it. Amazing. It talks. How's it going, Creeper? No wonder he didn't tag me. Okay, so just like that, we get the TNT launcher and, and he's just vibing. All right, well, let's go ahead and get away with that. And this thing pretty much just shoots all the TNT well for me. Nice, but we still got to get a lot of fish. So let's go up. Look at all those gods. Okay. Oh, look at them go. I'm just right clicking the sword. Are they flying up? Oh my gosh. Okay. So 26 cod. Definitely probably more than we need. All right. Let's trade. So pretty much I can buy everything. Let's get the gills, the pet, an axolotl bow, and of course his job. Okay. So I'm going to guess we need to do the job to upgrade the thing. But as for the bow, what, what does this do? Guys, it shoots exploding axolotls. Oh my gosh. Nice. Well, I do appreciate that bow. And next up, we got the gills, which what does this do? <laughs> we look so goofy. What the heck? We kind of look like Kirby. Oh, it gives us water breathing. Nice. Okay. And now the last thing we got was the pet axolotl, which, uh, oh, I've summoned a pet axolotl. Oh, it's him. And I can carry him. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I'm very attached to this guy now. Anyways, with that being done, now let's get the job out. And what do we have now? Axolotls eat ink sacs. Bring one to the axolotl to receive a reward. Oh, I guess let's go kill squid. Okay. Mr. Squids, I'm so sorry, but it has to be done. Go on. Oh, we got him with the axolotls. Let's go. Oh, and there it is. A bunch of ink sacs. Okay, let's bring this back to the axolotl.
world now. There he is. Okay, uh, Axolotl, I just got some squids for you. There you go. Get get your ink sacks. Got two of them for you. And ink tasty. And he gave me some fish. Nice. Well, he's just kind of vibing. Anyways, I think that should be it. So, oh, there it is. You've done enough trades. You've received yet again another Tradinator upgrade. Okay, let's go to get the upgrade yet again. And so, what are we trading with now? Trades unlocked. And so, now we're doing Amethyst, which we actually found earlier. Diamond Ore, which we also found earlier. And Wardens? Huh? That one's gonna be risky. Okay, Tradinator, hopefully it doesn't attack me with this thing. And let's start with Amethyst. Well, that was easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the Amethyst. And so, what do we get from you? Huh? Amethyst takes Calcite? I mean, sure. So, we can trade for a Spyglass. An Amethyst Greatsword, which actually looks really good. And then, a Crystal Ball. That looks sick. Uh, well, luckily, we got some Calcite right here. Let's go to get the Amethyst Greatsword pretty easy. And a good old Crystal Ball. Nice. Okay. All right. Greatsword, what do you do? Oh, it's your soul things. That's sick. Okay, little Amethyst Shards. I like that. Now, what about the Crystal Ball? You tap into the Crystal Ball. I've received damage resistance. Oh, wait. So, does it give me something random? Okay, we used it again. And now, we got Absorption. What bad thing can happen? Oh, okay. So, it's pretty much a randomizer thing where now we got slowness. Interesting. Well, might use that a little bit later. But now that we traded with Amethyst, let's get to Diamond. Okay, this cave is way too big. But finally, some good old Diamond Ore. Let's go to trade with that. And inside Diamond Ore, it takes iron? I mean, I have all the iron. Why not? So, we can get a Diamond Ore Shovel. Why not? A Diamond Goggles. A seat to the diamonds. Oh, that's kind of cool. And a Diamond Shard. So, I'm curious about the Diamond Shards. Do I make four into one diamond? Oh, it actually works. Okay, that's kind of cool. And now, some Diamond Goggles. What do the Diamond Goggles do? Oh, yeah. Yo! Okay, so with the diamond goggles, we literally have x-ray. Every single diamond in our vicinity to a certain range is now visible. Can I dig down there with the shovel? Uh, I, need, I need some dirt to dig. I mean, I could dig th this gravel. Oh! Oh, that's a good shovel. What if we do this then? Gravel? Mine? Guys, I found a new way. We now have a super shovel and some good old diamonds right above us. And now the only thing left is gonna be the warden. So, uh, how do we find a warden then? Okay, so we just got the message near a city, north of 119.3 blocks. All right, let's go this way. Oh, we definitely found the city. The warden's already outside and he's just vibing. Let's get the Tradinator. Last time the creeper didn't attack me with the Tradinator. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna trade with you real quick and hopefully you don't work just like the real deal. Right click. Oh, wanna trade with me? You must fight me first. Of course I do. Okay, go on my Amethyst Crystals. Okay, I feel like he's sparring with me. So let's go ahead and throw as many Amethyst Crystals at him. And actually, what if I throw some axolotls at him? Guys, I ran out of axolotls. Oh, no, 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 no. What else can we do? Oh, wait, Mega Crossbow. No. Now, this is a good resolution. And just like that, there we go with the warden. Down he goes. And can I trade with you now? Oh, we can. Okay. And now with the warden, we actually have enough diamonds, but we also got to trade with hearts now. Warden bell. Ring for a helping hand. I mean, I could go for a warden buddy. That'd be kind of cool. But let's go in and get the simple stuff. Warden axe. A warden job, which I'm going to guess gives us the next upgrade. In a wandering trade spawn egg? Um, is this for even more trades? Let's real quick go ahead and try the warden's axe. What does this do? Oh, yo, that's sick. No! I just killed the warden. Oh, no. Well, on the bright side, we got a warden job? I'm gonna get to respawns. What does the job give us then? Wardens love the dark. Get rid of any light sources in the area to receive a warden's charm. Oh, okay, that should be easy enough. Get rid of all the lava, and holy, there's so much light. All right, give me one sec, guys. We're getting rid of everything. Okay, last lamp. Let's get that out of the way, and warden says, here you go. Okay, I guess speaking from the dead, but with that being done, we got warden's charm. Oh, and it's a new ability. Okay, so press Oh, what the heck? Yo, it's like a roar uh, thing. Very nice. Okay. And now the only thing we have left from the warden is a wandering trader spawn egg. I think I was supposed to trade with whatever this thing is. So let's, I guess, put him over here. And do, do, do I trade with you? Uh, Tradinator? Oh, you want to see my secret trades? Never. Yo, what the heck? Okay. Nope. Nope. Let's get the super uh, warden thing out and finish him like that. All right. Get you out of the way. And oh my gosh. Yo, that's so many emeralds. And with that being done, we get the next upgrade. And what the heck? Let me go ahead and grab some of those emeralds, even though we're trading anything today for everything. And yet again, let's go ahead and upgrade it. And now what trades got upgraded this time? Oh, okay. So now we can trade with portals, lava, and a piglin leader. I'm going to go ahead and try this in the nether because it's probably nether lava. So give me one sec, guys. Let's go ahead and make another portal. Okay, we got another portal. Let's open it up real quick. And before we go inside, can I trade with that? Oh, we can. Yo, okay. So straight up trading with the nether portal where now we can trade obsidian for a strange portal port an obsidian pickaxe which can mine anything anything in caps so can i mine even lava and a portable portal okay
Okay, you know what? Just because we can get all these things, let's get obsidian to trade and not use the normal portal. All right, let's real quick get a portable portal, a obsidian pickaxe, and I guess a strange portal port. Let's start with the obsidian pickaxe, which I think it can straight up just mine everything. But what about the strange portal port? Oh, oh my gosh. You've been teleported to a random location. Oh, it literally just teleports me. Oh, that's sick. Okay, um, now what about the portable portal? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Now we have a portal we can go to. Okay, well, let's go inside. Okay, so now we got to trade for two things. One is going to be lava and one is going to be a piglin leader. Don't know what a piglin leader is, but I'm going to guess it's a piglin. All right, let's get some lava first. Oh, okay, this might be some good lava right here. Do I just like right click? There we go. And now with the lava, we can trade for a potion of fire resistance, which we might need. A fire breathing tutorial. All right, some Tanjiro type stuff. And then a lava job. Oh, shouldn't be too hard. We can literally just mine a netherrack from very quick. So fire resistance, why not? Let's go ahead and trade that. There we go. And now, I guess let's turn fire breathing. Oh, I've now learned how to use fire breath. Use it with I. I? Oh! Oh, yeah, that's sick. Okay, we can now breathe fire. Next thing we gotta fight, definitely gonna use that. And the only thing we have left now is gonna be the lava job. Lava gets angry if it can't destroy blocks. Throw a stack of netherite into the lava to receive a lava launcher. Well, that shouldn't be too hard because literally I can mine netherite very quickly and we already have a stack. All right, there we go. Oh, wait, talks. Netherrack shall be no more. And it gave us a lava launcher. That's sick. What the heck? And now we have a nice lava launcher, which, uh, does it shoot lava? Yep. Literally shoots lava. Okay. Next up, now we got to get a piglin. Okay. We found a piglin. All right. So piglins usually trade with gold. Now, how do I trade it like a villager? Wait, what? No gold, no trades? Okay. Now we got to fight an angry piglin, which, uh, lava launcher doesn't do anything to it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What, what about fire breathing? Come on, fire breathing. Get him. Couple more breaths. And down goes the piglin. Just like that. Well, we got some free gold at least. Not only that, but yet again, another Trinidator upgrade, which I guess, let's go ahead and right click that. And now with this upgrade, we can go ahead and trade with Blazes, Ancient Debris, and the Sun? Huh? Let's start with Blazes, and uh, yeah, things are definitely getting really weird now. Okay, where are some Blazes? Guys are already attacking me. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get to trading. I will not trade with a human. You will have to find another Blaze? Wait, what do you mean? All right, let's get rid of you. Oh, pass it, Blaze. Yes. Okay, come with me. This way, this way. Wait, so you don't attack me, right? Can I just trade with you? And there we go. Okay, so now I can trade Nether Warp for Blaze Rods and Blazing Boots. Okay, let's go get some Nether Warp real quick, and then I'll trade with them. All right, let's get some good old Nether Warp. 20 Nether Warp. And now let's get some good trades in. All right, Blazing Boots, and let's get a bunch of uh, Blaze Rods just in case we need them. And now with the Blaze Boots, what do these do for me? Oh, Firewalker ability unlocked. Press K. Okay, wait, let's go try walking lava now then. Guys, I am so dumb. I now understand what the ability does. Now when we crouch, this happens. Yeah, really surprised me the first time, but I guess it makes sense now. Anyways, what we got to get next now is going to be literally netherite. So I guess let's go all the way down here and start mining. Oh, this might be the move. Okay, I think we found what we're going to be using. Okay, finally, we found some netherite or ancient debris, and I literally blew up so much stuff. We got not one, but three right there, and we need bedrock. Huh? And wait, how do I mine bedrock then? Oh, hold on one second, guys. If we go all the way down here, get the obsidian pickaxe, no way. Yo, that's sick. I need a good bit of it. So let's go ahead and mine all we can. Let's go all the way back up. And now let's go ahead and get our nice netherite chest plate and a sharpness one netherite scythe. Okay, yeah. And I guess I'll keep the bedrock for the trip. All right, the scythe, what do you do? Typical scythe, very nice. Love me a scythe. And now for the last thing I got to trade with for this tier is literally the scythe. So, real quick, I guess let's uh, throw the portable portal and go back. Okay, so for trading with the sun, do I literally just right click it? Oh my! So we can trade with the sun now, and it needs bedrock for the moon or a solar flare pickaxe. Mine with the power of the sun. Okay, give me one second. Let's dig down real quick and get some more bedrock. Okay, that's more bedrock than I know what to do with, but we get a moon with a nice smiley face, sure, and a solar flare pickaxe. I guess let's go ahead and take that. What does this do? Do I just mine with it? Oh. Oh, oh, yo, guys, it's literally a chunk miner. What the heck? And what about the moon? Uh, do I just right click it? Um, hello? And I guess now that we have our moon buddy, uh, we're gonna call moon. We got another Trinidator upgrade. Let's go ahead and grab this upgrade again. And I'm gonna guess we're nearing the end because now we can trade with Bedrock itself, which actually, I guess that's gonna be the first one. Enderman in the eyes of Ender. Wait, what just killed you? Oh. 
Oh, uh, okay. I will mind my own business. Let's get back to trading. Okay, so with Bedrock, we trade Bedrock itself for either a Bedrock Hammer or Unbreakable Potion. Kind of curious about the Unbreakable Potion. All right, what does this do? Guys, it's literally just resistance. I feel so scammed, guys. But you know what? I'm going to leave the Bedrock Hammer there for now. And instead, let's go back down caving and see if we can find an Enderman. Finally found an Enderman. All right, Enderman, let's trade. Oh, and it's XP again. And we actually have the perfect amount. We can trade for an Enderman hand. Okay. An infinite ender pearl, which is a fun way to get around. Sure. And finally, an enderman's job. Why not? Let's go and grab all those. And so is this simply just an infinite ender pearl? Oh, pretty much is. And what about the hand? What does this do? Oh, yo, I can draw with it and then I can also teleport with it, but no damage. And then finally, the enderman job. What's the job this time? Enderman love blocks. Retrieve five different blocks to receive an enderman mask as a reward. Oh, literally just any five blocks. Let's get this block in. Oh, God. Gosh, we actually got way too many blocks. Okay, right. All right, we got our five blocks. Now let's go back to that Enderman. Guys, the Enderman is suddenly invisible. Um, okay, well, anyways, there's one block, one block, one block, one block. There's your five blocks. Oh, okay, and he came back now all of a sudden. What is wrong with this Enderman? I love blocks. And he gave us back an Enderman mask, which I can sneak past Enderman using this mask. But with that being done, now we gotta do an Eye of Ender. Oh, wait, I need to kill that Enderman, don't I? Hey, buddy, yeah, about that. This might be a little bit awkward, but uh, let me use a scythe against you. I am so sorry. But just like that, let's get that Ender Pearl. And now we can make a nice Eye of Ender. And so what the heck are we trading for with this thing? I should have kept the diamonds. Dang it. Well, on the bright side, we can now get an Entity on Demand, an Ender Missile, and even more Eyes of Ender to actually find the Stronghold. So, give me one sec. We have diamonds literally right here because of our goggles. So, let's mine all that. And that should be easy diamonds. Okay, we should have enough diamonds now. Let's real quick get probably a lot of Eyes of Ender. But before we do that, let's get the End City and also the Ender Missile just so we know what it does. It does say, though, fastest way to destroy End Crystals. Maybe let's save that till we get to the end. But for now, let's get all the Eyes of Ender we'll ever need. And so, what? does this do exactly? Oh, that is definitely an end city. My goodness. Gonna get some loots at the top. So, uh, give me one sec, guys. Of course, there's shulkers. Okay, let me get rid of you. Okay, what do we have in here? Pretty good helmet. There we go. And that should be pretty much it. And pretty good timing, because now we have the next upgrade, which let me get out of here before we use that. Okay, this might be one of the last ones. Let's go to right-click it. Oh, it's only the Ender Dragon. I guess we only have one more thing to do, guys, now. And that's find the stronghold. So, let's go that way, and give me one sec. Wow. One eternity later. That is the power of editing. And now let's go ahead and put the eyes of Ender. And I guess without further ado, guys, let's see what a dragon wants to trade with us. Okay, we are in now. Here we go, guys. Dragon right in front of us. And But before we go fight that guy, let me try out this new Ender Missile we got. Oh, wait. Okay, it's like a little fire line. Does it do anything special? And go, my Ender Missiles. Get all the crystals. All the crystals should be done now. And now that he's perching... Wait, can I just straight up trade with him? Yo! So now we're trading with the dragon and we can trade for the dragon wings, a singularity, and an ender wither spawn egg. Let me real quick get a big chunk of the end. Thank you very much. Let's grab that. And now we gotta wait for him to perch again. Where are you go? Wait, can I trade him with it like this? Oh, we got it. Am I gonna die? One heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get the trades in real quick before he comes back. A singularity, and finally an ender wither spawn egg. Wait, does that mean he's not the final boss? I'm so confused, guys. All right, get my dragon wings ready. And so, what does the singularity do? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, this is not good. This is not good. Let me get out of here. Oh, it's sucking him in too. Okay, bye dragon. Have a great day. I think we may have killed the dragon. We're not done there yet though, because we still have the ender wither. And is this the last one? Oh, this guy again? Yet again, we gotta fight the ember wither. What can I use against him? I guess yet again, let's get out my favorite weapon in this video, the Desert King Staff, and see what it does against him. Oh gosh, he's preoccupied with the enderman. Okay, let's just keep shooting as much stuff as we can. No, 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 I gotta dodge that. Get all the sand. Oh wait, that actually did a lot this time. Okay, we're doing more damage now. Okay, little bit more sand. Let's get the final hits in. And just like that, down goes Umbral Wither. And is that it? Oh, it is. Well, with that being done, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite trade was. And besides that, here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.